this video was requested by Curtis Mundy and by 79 Ford Blake. This the video is about my gray truck, the old gray mare, 1979 Ford F-150 Custom. And this is how she looks today. As of 2010, she's weathered, beat, rusted, and abused. But she was a great vehicle. She was my first pickup truck, my first actual true car. First V8, first Ford, first everything. Had a lot of fun memories in this truck. Um, I love this truck. I would love to restore her. But for now, she's just basically a storage shed and a parts truck for my mean green truck. I keep all kinds of stuff in here. Um, my grandmother keeps this gas can in here because she don't have a shed anymore. Keeps in here for a lawnmower. Normally I keep this covered, but I had it uncovered. My uh, friend Jake came in here and messed with it. But I keep it covered to keep the uh, Isabel cluster in somewhat decent shape from sun fade. Um, this truck originally from what I just ciphered from the uh, VIN code originally it was uh, an inline uh, 6 300 cubic inch motor and a 3 speed manual transmission but however now it has a uh, C6 automatic transmission and a 351 Windsor V8 the headliner, I removed it. It was in really nice shape, and the one in my uh, green truck was in bad shape, so I swapped it out. See, the sun visors are rather moldy and cracking and falling apart. The seat is red, and it's very dirty. Very disgusting. It keeps it covered with this. It has a couple of tears in it, like right in this spot right here, and... Right there is a big, there's a big hole, and you can kind of see the red in the seat from underneath the uh, seat cover. This truck was parked in 2002. Um, the transmission was slipping in really bad, and uh, motor wasn't all that great either, so. That's when I parked this truck and started driving my 1984 Toyota Tercel. Um, this truck does have the white eight-spoke wagon wheels, uh, normally seen on the uh, freewheeling package Ford vehicles of the 70s, and also uh, some of the 80s Broncos I've seen have those particular wheels. Now, I don't know if they're original, but they are actual original equipment to this truck. However, I don't know if they originally came on the truck. Got dual gas tanks. Um, the bed's in still fairly decent shape, and this is, will be a replacement bed for the green truck, as this back wall is completely rotted out on the green truck. So I'm going to be swapping this entire bed. This bed is not perfect for a restoration vehicle, but it's great for a farm truck, such as my green one. Um, tailgate uh, took it off because it broke the mechanism so it I couldn't open it or close it no more so I just took it off uh, I keep all kinds of scrap metal and mower parts in the bed still has really nice tail lights and those are going to be coming out and going into the uh, green truck as well and there's those awesome wheels truck was not a pretty truck when it when my brother bought it he was four I was 14 when he bought it uh, it was pretty nasty then but it's even worse now oh, rusty thing uh, everything's rusted rusty 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 
all of this. Uh, most of the parts are to make this engine run are still here, but some things have been taken. I've taken a couple of spark plug wires. Well, one particularly. This ain't. Oh, that's great. Um, I had to use the radiator out of it. It's also in my uh, green truck. It has the two barrel uh, motor craft on it. Total piece of junk now, I don't care. This truck, it just, if I were to try to start it today, it probably would run, but it, it runs rather rough. The last time I started it was in 2003, and it had a big knock in it, so it don't run no more. To, suffice to say, it's done for. Um, headlights are gone out of it now. Buddy needed them in his uh, Chevy truck, and they're the same size, so I gave them to him. Bumper's all beat up and bent. It was like that when we got it. Parking signals have been taken out because they were busted. Uh, that's my spare. The original uh, their tire, wagon wheels, and the bed. I painted this green, this fender. Uh, it was a lot darker color, but I did it as a test to see if I'd like the color on my truck. Then it faded to this bluishy green. I was like, well, I don't like it. This fender's in bad shape. I got in an accident in it once. Cab's in pretty bad shape. It's rusting really bad here. And right here. It's completely rotting out. It's this, this cab's a pile of crap. The weather stripping's all crumbly too. This door panel was cracked when we, my brother bought the truck originally and it somebody uh, somebody had cracked it like halfway down and the, the door handle cup that was here was missing. Well, the door came open one day, one, uh, one night when he still owned the truck and he was driving. He reached all the way over grabbed the door handle but it didn't it wasn't screwed down here by the cup and he went to pull it closed it just broke the door handle completely in half so i threw the door panel away this is something i did i seen it in mad max um in his car because he had the door panels out this is actually just a leather belt that i drilled holes through and bolted it to it, the door panel so you can actually have a place to shut the door this is a neat trick if if you don't have a door panel and you don't have a, some other means of grabbing the door to close it, you can do something like this. It's just cheap old, old leather belt I had. More of the carpet, moldy. Electrical tape for the door jam. That's a trick I learned a long time ago. I do this still today. Like I said, I keep all kinds of stuff in here. It's just a storage shed, basically old JC Penney uh, CB radio that was my dad's parts of the truck extra parts a nice glove box here I'm gonna be probably taking this out and put in my uh, green pickup but that's that so there is the story of my gray 1979 Ford F-150 Custom. Um, there's not much really to say left on it. It's just an old rusty Hulk Dell. It's used as a storage shed and for parts to fix my green Ford F-250. It may be restored someday or it may just go to the crusher. I don't know. Anything, anything's possible. Hope you enjoy it. Laters.